Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dark Souls. So last time, we took out Chaos Witch Quaylog and we summoned our first real human actual player. It was a glorious moment, and then he died instantly. It was kind of freaking amazing, what can I say? Anyway, so it's time to leave Blood Town, aka the Devil's Arsehole. There is one thing we are going to grab on the way out. It's entirely optional, we don't have to get it. However, I believe it's sorcery related, and since we're doing a mage playthrough, I figure we may as well go get the damn thing. However, we may very well get our first death here by going and getting that, because you may remember last time I mentioned there's a lock, which if you have the 60 FPS patch, and I do, and you do not roll at the exact moments, and I do mean the exact freaking moments, you will fall to your doom and it will suck. Lunging attack! That kinda worked, I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, we have to go across that lock. That may very well kill us, and it's gonna suck if it does, but uh, you know, we'll do our goddamn best. I think you have to roll pretty much where this uh, message on the floor is, but uh, I may be completely wrong about that. I think it's just before the middle. It's really strange, because when you're going across this way, as you saw, just fine, you don't need to roll, but when you're going back, you have to roll. It's really weird. Luckily, there's not too many bugs like that with a 60 FPS patch, but that is definitely one of them, and it sucks. It really freaking sucks. Get off of me, crack spider. Okay, there we go, we got the remedy. Not really ever gonna- oh god, get away from me. You son of a bitch. Well, luckily we have a bunch of moss, but my gut. Yummy! Okay! So this is the moment of truth. Like I say, this may very well cause our very first death of the game, and I am not looking forward to this. Now, we just got a new catalyst. I don't think it's as good as the one we already have, but I'm gonna check. Okay, yeah, if you look at the magic adjust, that's how much magic damage we're gonna do with it. This one, however, is more for physical attacks. You oh my gut. Get the hell away from me, mosquito buddy. Die, scumbag! Soul arrow! There we go, anyway, yeah, so like I say, the one we just picked up, more for physical attacks, but frankly, it kind of sucks balls, so just don't bother, man. Really, you want the magic adjust. Okay, moment of truth, I really feel like I'm gonna die. I think this is where it is, because uh, it's not like letting me walk up it properly. Go! Okay, I think we're fine. Go, 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 just run. Don't look back, otherwise Mosquito Buddy is gonna knock me off. Okay, thank God for that. I genuinely, genuinely thought that was gonna be our first death. I am so goddamn relieved. I mean, don't get me wrong, I die in Dark Souls quite a lot, but I would at least like to have my very first one not be to falling for once, because I died of falling so much. I am so bad at platforming, it's ridiculous. I was playing Castle of Illusion the other day, which is like uh, the 2030 remake of the original one, which is basically where you play as Mickey Mouse and you run around getting gems and shit. Not really important, but either way, it's a platformer. Holy shit, I was considering Let's Playing that. Never gonna happen. It was the most frustrating thing you have ever seen in your life. Trust me, if anyone watched that, they would be extremely pissed off at me. I am that bad at platforming. I was pissing myself off. I can't blame the game for that. I'm just real bad here. Anyway, let's get the crap out of here. Now, we are not completely home free. There is a bunch of, uh, I think they're called Raging Barbarians. Basically, the big dudes with the club, so they could give us some trouble. Now, before I forget, the uh, description on the key here is actually really kind of interesting. You get a lot of lore if you ever read the item descriptions here. It says, The ruins of New Londo were blocked off, for the cursed ghost posed danger to life and spirits. And the legends speak of a terrible duck which was sealed away. So yes, that you may remember. I think it was either in episode 1 or 2, I can't remember exactly, but uh, where we spoke to the very first blacksmith of the game, not Peter Andre Vastora, the other one. Then I went down, got the bonfire keeper's soul, and died to the ghost, because... No point trying to run away because we didn't have anything. That is where we, the uh, key unlocks. That place, dangerous as shit. Yeah, we go. Barbarian buddy is down. I think there's two more of them. See, anyway, like I say, it's really interesting to me that just from reading a description on a key, you can learn a hell of a lot of backstory about one area in the game. I really, really hope they keep that sort of thing in Dark Souls 2. Personally, I have no goddamn idea. Like I say, I've completely avoided the beta. I've watched very little footage. I know almost nothing about that game, and that is exactly the way I want to go into it. I want Dark Souls 2 to kick the shit out of me. I want to die to all of the ambushes. I want the game to whoop my ass, like this one did the very first time I played it, because that is half the fun of the goddamn game. The other half, I would say, probably, well, it's kind of a bit of a 50-50 split, really, between the combat and the lore. Really, they're awesome, but uh, it's more than getting your ass kicked in learning the combat. That's the fun of it. And as far as I know, the combat has had quite an overhaul. It's still essentially the same damn thing, but, uh, like, for example, I know that you can reverse uh, backstabs and parries and stuff like that, so just doing that doesn't really mean you're home free anymore. Now, I think you can actually be hit during the animation, so... Yeah, I'm a fan of that, man. Like I say, I very rarely try and backstab because I just feel like it's a little bit cheap and a little bit too easy, especially in PvP, but still getting interrupted in a backstab in PvP, not really going to matter that much unless someone has a summon with them, which most of the time, not going to happen. I don't know if summoning's any easier in Dark Souls 2. I think, 
and I don't know this, I think I heard somewhere that they've done away with the, uh, the humanity system, so you are basically always online, so you don't really have the option to not get invaded like you do in this game where you just keep yourself hollow and there's not really any negative effects. I think it's more like in, uh, in fact, no, I think it was the same in Demon's Souls, although I don't know because I haven't played it, but I think Demon's Souls had a similar sort of humanity system, although that wasn't exactly what it was called, so yeah. I'm really looking forward to that, man. I want to be attacked all of the goddamn time. Instead of this, where we're human all the time and nobody ever invades me. Drives me nuts. Okay, so as you can see, Bonfire Kiba, she has been slain. Guess who did that? Yes, Lortrak the dick. Because that's what he does. He's a dick. Now, speaking of writing descriptions, you may notice we got the black eye from looting her corpse there. If you read the description, it says, Invade the world of the murderer of a firekeeper to defeat the perpetrator and reclaim the soul of the firekeeper. The black eye orb keeps constant watch on the city of the gods, Anno Londo. So that is basically telling you, when you get to Anno Londo, use that, and get a soul back, and then you can revive her. But in the meantime, we cannot rest at this bonfire, because any bonfire that is guarded by a firekeeper, like this one, if the firekeeper is dead, then you can't rest there. Humongous pain in the dick. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now, we have a new problem. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Damn, that stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. <sighs> Maybe it's time I do something about it. Well, excuse me. It's not my fault I snore. I'll have you know I have breathing problems. You inconsiderate dick. It may be my fault I smell, though. Okay, so having run the second Medal of Awakening, this giant weird-looking snake thing appears that looks like it's wearing its grandfather's teeth. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the Bell of Awakening? I am the Primordial Serpent, King Seeker Frapt, close friend of the Great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the Bell of Awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? I don't know, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Very well, then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. And there's the Dark Souls storyline in a nutshell. Succeed Gwyn, link the fire, kick some ass. It's how we do. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Okay, so there are actually two of these serpents. There's a dark one called Darkstalker Kath, and there's this one, Kingseeker Fremt. Whichever one you speak to first, the other one will disappear and be pissed off at you, and you will never be able to speak to them again for the entirety of the rest of the game. You have to make a choice. The choices really are basically, the other one is if you want to do Dark Souls PvP, this one is if you just want a few advantages. For example, you can get this guy to break Titanite down into lower chunks, which makes it easier to make weapon upgrades, or you can sell things to him. This is literally the only way in the game you can sell anything. So this guy is where you basically you feed crap to him and he gives Those your souls back. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Well, I mean, I'll try not to die, but, you know, no promises. Well, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. I bet you will, buddy. I bet you will. See, like I say, if you speak to that guy, you can never join the Dark Wraith Covenants via the other snake. And since this guy appears before the other one, unless you go kill the four kings first, which is a really hard boss fight, most people never uh, see him. Oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady. To think I swore to protect you with my life. So Bold Job here is supposed to be escorting that chicken, yet for some damn reason he ain't there. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy. Deathly so. You sound so sincere. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. 
Your BS can't end this stuff singing Lose Yourself by Eminem now, but I will resist the urge because you don't want to hear it. And frankly, I don't want the goddamn embarrassment. Anyway, as you can see, we don't need to be in this crappy covenant anymore to buy the miracles, which is handy because this covenant kind of sucks balls, what can I say? Now, I think there was another spell I wanted to buy from this guy, but we didn't have the souls at the time, so I'm going to use some soul consumables and we'll see what we can actually buy now. Oh, hello. Well, you certainly are keeping at it. Myself, I'm fine. Let's get started straight away. Yeah, it's quite indubitably so, old chap. Okay, the question is, what do we want? I kind of want magic weapon, because basically, as I mentioned, it will just coat your weapon in magic, which, even if the enemy is resistant to magic, it's still going to do a tiny bit of extra damage, and if they're weak to it, it's going to do a lot of extra damage, so it just kind of adds on to your base damage instead of completely overtaking it, so either way, it should be beneficial to us, even if not very much. Magic shield, as I mentioned, even though it's the lower version of it, should make our shield very good against magic, even though there's not too many enemies in the game that even no, actually use magic, but screw it. it, we'll that go with that. Anyway, it is time to take on Sen's Fortress and probably die! Okay, we have arrived, and by the way, I quit magic weapons, so we're gonna test this puppy out and probably be extremely disappointed, I imagine. Now, there is a trap on the floor here. If we stand on this, three arrows will come out. However, you can shoot them up the ass. Boom, there goes one of the snake people. Suck on that, you son of a bitch. Okay, guys, come back! Now, this, as I mentioned, is right outside the bonfire area next to Peter Andre Avastora, where we met Onion Bro. So, in the process of us opening this, which we needed to do anyway, we opened the gate for him, so now he can proceed on his quest. So, we're going to see him again in here, and then we have the option to help him again. And like I say, if you help him every single goddamn time, you will complete his quest line, and you get a pretty damn decent reward. It's not unique, but it is very, very handy, and a very rare drop. Okay, so as you can probably tell, this place is full of traps, and I do mean full of traps. These swing your blades, however, are not that dangerous. As long as you take your time, just pause between them, you are going to be fine. Now, this either side of us is not actually a pit of doom, however, you will take a metric ton of fall damage if you go down there, but you won't quite die. At least, you know, depending on your HP bar. There is, however, four tiny demons down there, and I do mean four of the bastards. And there's a bunch of dudes, ouch, you son of a bitch, shooting lightning at you down there as well, so... Yeah, if you fall down there, you are probably gonna die. However, there is a safe way to go down there, then you can farm the Titanite Demons. They don't respawn, but still, four of them is four Demon Titanite, and that is extremely handy, because I think you need ten of them to fully upgrade a boss weapon, and that means pretty much ten Demon kills, even though there is a few you can get from chests and stuff like that. But still, you are gonna have to kill a lot of Titanite Demons. No, 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 no. Poke attack. There we go. Okay, these guys can drop their weapon. I think it's called the Flamberge. It's basically like a fiery curved sword. Actually pretty goddamn good if you are using a Dex character, and we are, so that might be a viable option. The big snakes, by the way, can also drop their weapon called the Man's Serpent Greatsword. Not the best strength weapon in the game, but it is pretty damn good considering how quick it is. Hey buddy, watch out for the... Never mind. Never mind. I tried to warn you, what can I say? Okay, so, we're gonna hope that the boulder hits him and cut our weapon in magic. No, 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 you son of a bitch. Okay, <laughs> that was dangerous. They do a lot of damage. You have to be really careful. Two or three hits, I'm gonna die, despite the fact that I've upgraded my HP. Quite a few times now, it goes up really, really goddamn slowly. I've seen people with ginormous HP bars. That must take a goddamn lot of levels. That's all I can say. I mean, why one's piddly? It's tiny. I've got HP bar RNV, what can I say? Okay, that was close. Now prepare to die, scumbag. Here we go, poke attack. Now get in there before I get crushed. Okay, now in here I believe we get the Ring of Steel Protection. Basically, it just boosts your defense by quite a bit. Although, I'm kind of satisfied with what we have already, so screw that, we are going to keep what we have on. Don't get crushed by the boulder. Okay, now down here is a couple of snake buddies, and more importantly, there is Onion Bro. And I know I've told this story before, but damn it, it was hilarious. The very first time I came here, I tried to plunge the attack a snake to save Onion Bro. I thought he was in danger. I bumped into him, didn't even hit him, I just bumped into him, knocked him off the edge and killed him. I'm sorry, Onion Bro. I'm sorry! I will forever remember the day that I killed you. <laughs> I feel terrible about that. I tried to help you, damn it. I'm clumsy. What can I say? Hmm. 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 Ho oh, ho! Ah. Where did you come from? Splendid news, I tell you. <laughs> You're gonna have to speak up. I'm wearing a towel. Also, the boulders are very loud. Hmm. Ah, so you see my sight. Yes, indeed. I've run up against a wall, or a ball to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be up running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, but who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> Perhaps I could try some rolling. Bah, no chance. My head would spin. 
Hmm. Keep rolling, rolling, bro. Okay. I'm not gonna sing roll in. Limp biscuits suck. I don't know why I want to sing everything today. So anyway, as you might imagine, there's the next part of our new bro's quest. And just like the first parts, we kind of really have to do it to actually proceed in the game. Well, you don't necessarily need to do it. You could get past the boulder without changing the direction that it's going in. But it ain't bloody likely. You are probably going to get crushed to death. So we are going to do that either way. And then the next part of his quest ain't going to be for quite some time. And that one is definitely optional. Now, there is a lot of booty in here. There's a ring and there's uh, another sorcery and I believe the four Tyana demons that I mentioned earlier. We are not going to do any of those right now. We will come back and do all of that later. We'll kill all of the Tyana demons and we will get the booty. But for now, we just want to get through here and survive. My main priority is to get the goddamn Lord Vessel so we can travel around using the different bonfires. Holy shit! Okay, I'm nearly dead. Don't panic. We'll be fine. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Jump attack! Suck on that. Anyway, yeah, my main priority is get to Anna Londo, get the goddamn Lord Vessel so we can warp around and actually teleport to different places. Then we'll come back here, kill- Oh, Jesus Christ! I nearly died, but I didn't. Anyway, yeah, so we can come back here, kill all the Tyna demons, and get the other sorceries and the ring that's here. We don't even need the ring, but I like to collect shits for some damn reason, and I don't know why. But either way, it's a good ring. I've just never used the damn thing because I've never had the opportunity to, but still, I like to collect shit because I am a hoarder, and I've just realized... I'm wasting goddamn time. This boulder is going to come and crush me. Run. Okay, we had more time than I thought we would. So, there is a wall at the back here. Once the boulders build up enough, they'll smash through there. We can get another secret ring. That ring, extremely handy. That will give us more drop rates. Very, very useful when you're farming shits. But first, in the meantime, we are going to kill this guy, our first mimic of the goddamn game. And Oh, shit. I meant to coat my weapon. Wrong button. Well, I guess we're taking him on like this. Now, oh, shit. Anyway, yes, as you can see, they have a grab attack. Just like every grab attack in the game, you can get out of it if you match the NLR triggers, but you have to be very, very quick, because they do a metric fuck ton of damage. Don't you hit me. That's a bad mimic. Okay. Anyway, yes, if you try and open the chest without hitting it first, it will do its grab attack on you, so don't do that. However, there is an item called... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Just freaking boot me in the face. No, 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 no. Get away from me, you complete scumbag. Anyway. There is an item called the Lloyd's Talisman. If you throw one of those at it while it's on the ground before it wakes up, it will go all the way to sleep. Then you can take the loot without getting grabbed. That was way more goddamn harrowing than it probably should have been. Anyway, at Bonley we get the Lightning Spear. The reason that's important is because we can downgrade that our blacksmith to a spear plus 10, which we can then combine with the Moonlight Butterfly Soul to make our first magic weapon of the game. So for our mage, that means we will be doing tons of freaking damage with it. Unfortunately, we can't do that until we get to Analondo, which ain't gonna be for a while yet, but still, it ain't that far away either. And there we go, we get the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, which, like I say, increases drop rate, so if we want to farm something, we can equip that. Holy shit, that was close. I have a much higher chance of getting something. Yeah, as you can see from the blast down on the floor, this next section, kind of freaking dangerous. That down there, that's a pit of doom. Don't go down there. I did that the very first time. It sucked. I think most people do that, but, like, holy shit. And you can see there's blood on the left as well. The reason for that, there are ceiling spikes. If you don't get off in time, it will ram you into those and kill you. Yes, Dark Souls, complete and utter dick. Oh, God damn it! Sometimes when you click on the bloodstains, it doesn't actually show you the shadow of the guy and how he died. It just kind of glitches out and nothing happens. Kind of really pisses me off, man. I really, really enjoy seeing how people die. What can I say? I'm a sadistic bastard. Okay, so this is where we rotate the boulder and stop it from going down next to Onion Bro so he can get his fat ass out of there. Now, this thing, as I mentioned, for some damn reason, and I don't know why, it will just rotate itself around randomly. I don't know if someone's supposed to be doing it, or if it's automated, but it drives me freaking nuts. No matter where the hell you put it, it will end up going back around and trick you. I've died to that so many goddamn times, it's a complete troll. So just be aware of that. Just because you rotate it does not mean it will not come back around. You are never safe here. The game is a complete dick. Always be prepared for that. Be prepared for Dark Souls to try and dick you over, because it will. Now, I think this might be... In fact, no, it's not. I think there's one more bridge after this with spinning blades. Then we are at the top, pretty much. Incredibly slow soul arrow. There we go. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. No, 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 don't hit by me. And jump attack. Gotcha. That was close. That guy nearly freaking hit me. Now, I believe there's one more snake dude at the top of the stairs. Yes, there is. This guy's a bit of a dick. Oh, god damn it, the lock on fell off. God damn you, Dark Souls. Can I one-shot the guy with this? That is the question. Yes, I can. Holy shit, we are powerful as hell. That's not even our best spell. Now, there's one more dude around here. I think this might be the last guy before we get to the top. Not entirely sure. This guy is guarding two large Titan shards, which we don't necessarily need, but screw it. We'll grab them anyway, because you never know we might need them. We probably won't, but you never freaking know. And shit. I just realized we're out of Estus. 
that's not good. Like I say, I think this is the last snake guy we have to deal with before the bonfire, but uh, there is another one that's going to shoot lightning at us. We don't necessarily have to take him out, we could just run, but uh, since we do have spells, it might be better that we shoot him, then we don't have to worry about him blasting the shit out of us. I see you there, buddy. Okay, I want to lock on and not fall off the goddamn edge. Don't screw me over, camera. Don't do it. Okay! He hit me, but he's dead. That's what matters. Now, careful. Wait for the camera. There we go. Whenever you go through a doorway or something like that, be careful of the goddamn camera. It likes to spaz out. I don't know why. Yes, you can stand here. A lot of people don't realize that. They think you have to run all the way through. You don't. You can, but it's very, very tight. Much easier. Just stand in the middle of the blades, then go. And then you have plenty of goddamn time. Okay. I think we are done here. The, the top of the fortress, frankly, kind of dangerous if you stand still, but if we keep running, we will be fine. But holy shit, we have to run here. Ready? And go, go, go. Just run. Now, there are a bunch of giants up here. I think it's two of them. They keep throwing firebombs. And as you can see, there's big black marks on the ground. They are ginormous and have humongous range. If you stay in the wrong place, you will get burned and you die very, very fast. You are safe down here, however. And this is a kind of hidden bonfire. There we go. We made it. Holy shit, I thought I was going to die. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it. Like, and I will see you guys next time for more Dark Souls.